his cement slab. Cement slab gets hot, is slippery, and the color fades. Let's start at the beginning. We'll watch every detail in the application of cool deck. First is preparation and protection. There are numerous ways to do this, such as masking with paper. Sandy soil is best for cool deck. Clay soil should be covered with a two inch layer of sand to prevent uneven suction of soil to concrete. Wet thoroughly the evening before the pour or early the same morning. Don't wash off coping protection. Order enough concrete in advance for the complete job or to the nearest expansion joint. Do not use a sandy concrete mix. Order a five bag mix, a little on the rocky side. During winter or cold weather, it is preferable to use high early cement. Calcium chloride may be used as an accelerator. However, it may leave a salt rise. Striking off concrete, no allowance is required for cool deck topping. Normal shrinkage is sufficient. The 1 8 inch application will be level with coping. After raking concrete into place and leveling, tamp sufficient fats to surface. use a bull float to remove tamp marks. One pass is usually sufficient. Trowel for smooth finish. Avoid trowel ridges. The finished cool deck will be only as level as the base concrete. Broom or scarify complete deck. Use a push broom with nylon bristles. Do not leave slick spots along the edges. Avoid furrows or ridges. After brooming, the concrete should have a sandpaper semi-coarse finish with open pores for bonding purposes or adhering of cool deck, but not too coarse so that roughness is revealed through finished topping. Mixing must be done in a paddle type plaster mixer. The mixing formula is one unit of cool deck to one bag of Riverside white cement, to eight gallons of size 20 mesh marble sand. This combined mixture covers a minimum of 300 square feet. Pour the eight gallons of marble sand into mixer and one gallon of water to make the sand damp. Add cool deck, mix for at least two minutes and this assures uniform color blend. Add Riverside white cement. Mix one minute before adding four additional gallons of water. in this paste form. Pour additional water at time of application to make a thick, creamy mix.
adjusting the timing of application. Watch for water rise, but no foot impression. brush high and move the hand forward, snapping back with the wrist. This is similar to cracking the whip. Dip brush into mix, covering full length of bristle. Start splashing. Rain on the mix in even, straight, side-by-side -side rows. Overlap just a little, so as not to leave bare spots. Before the first splash loses its glaze, dip the brush to half the length of the bristle and rain on second splash. This leaves knolls and voids of sufficient height to trowel. lightly and flat. The pattern is set with the first pass. The second pass must follow immediately behind the first. While troweling, feel for uneven surface. Wipe away the fuzz with the trowel held sharp. The finished deck should reveal a 40% smooth walking surface and a 60% void surface. This prevents craze cracking, since the knolls may expand and contract from the voids. This process assures a hard, dense, uniform, color-fast deck. 100 square inches of finished Keystone Cool Deck. The proper tool for knifing deck into stone pattern. A banding strap, 5 eighths inches wide and 8 inches long, is centered 90 degrees to pliers, forming letter T. Bend both ends down so that banding strap is in the shape of the letter U. Banding strap is taped to open end for the knifed out chips to fall through. Knifing or stone cutting. Lay the open end knife almost parallel with the deck and cut through, exposing the gray base concrete fat, similar to a mortar joint. Knife along the straight edge or cut at random. Flagstone effect is popular. Do not sweep away knifed out chips until deck is fairly hard. Sweeping when the deck is soft will cause scratches. Cool deck application completed in one day. Cool deck is a happy deck, a safe deck, and a profitable deck for the contractor. Keystone Cool Deck is amazingly cool. Cool under the sun. Oh.